Hey ladies, welcome back to another video to your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this glam with the 9 years ago palette by Dose of Colors. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with this very very dark shade in this palette and let me just say you guys, these are the most blendable eyeshadows I have ever used in my life, which I love so much. And anyways, we're going to be going in with this very, very dark shade on our crease. And we're just going to be tapping the product into our eyelid. The reason why is because I didn't set my concealer so that I can get the best pigment out of this eyeshadow. Next, we're going to be taking this purple shade, which I think is so beautiful, you guys. And we're going to be placing this all over our crease. And as you guys can see, I'm not going to be dragging this too high up into my brow bone specifically because we are going to be adding another shade if you guys are beginners i do recommend you guys do side to side motions or small little circles just so that it's easier to blend because i know these are very dark and powdery shades so it can make a very very big mess so you want to like kind of try to stay in the same area as much as you can now as you guys can see i'm kind of dragging my brush outwards kind of like giving it a little tail that is just so we can get that sharp edge at the end when we clean out the eyeshadow corners you guys will see what i'm talking about it sounds so complicated i'm so sorry but trust the process you guys this is literally the definition of trust the process next i'm gonna be taking this coral shade it's like a very very like orangey pinkish mix of a color i don't even know what to, how to describe it honestly <laughs> but we're just going to be blending this out all on the outer area of the eyeshadow as you guys can see i went above the purple and even if you get close to your eyebrow with this shade it's totally fine because it's a very very light shade so it's going to look very nice once the look comes together now we are going to be going back in with the purple shade you guys and this is just because some of that product did come off when we applied the lighter shade so i'm just going back in and blending this side to side so that it gets evened out and it looks dark again and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the dark shade i'm gonna be doing that right now see there we go and now you guys can see that the eyeshadow is coming together it looks nice it looks blended we're gonna drag this out to that little tail like i told you guys earlier and we are going to be cleaning out our crease. I'm using this eye makeup remover from Neutrogena and these pointy Q-tips that I sell on my website. So if you guys are interested, the link is down below in the details. I love these Q-tips. Just look at how nice my crease gets cleaned out with this. Like, it's just, it's so perfect, you guys. I recommend them big time. Super cheap. You get a total of 200 of them for just $6. The link is down below if you guys are interested. Next, I'm going to be going in with this Beauty Creation Foundation, which I really, really love because the consistency is very thick. So we're going to be adding this onto our crease, you guys. And meanwhile, I do that. Let me tell you guys, the brush that I use, this little pink one right here, it is my absolute favorite. It's from my website as well, you guys. It comes with a total of, I believe, 20 brushes. And you get this for only $20 to $25. Sometimes it's on special on my website. So if you guys want to purchase this cute little brush, the link is down below, like I said. But it is bomb for this, you guys. And let me just tell you guys, too, while I'm cutting my crease right now, the reason why I take out the product and then apply this on top is because it gives it a more dramatic effect, you guys. It just looks a lot more sharper. Just look at this. We have a very clean white base. And look at that shimmery shade that we're using right now. It is super, super nice. And just it grabs onto the product. It just looks so much cleaner and sharper. As you guys can see now, I'm going back in with this coral shade again, just so that we can blend out that outer area. And then we're going to be going in with some more of that because we need this to look as blended as possible so we can clean out that sharp edge. And we're going back in with the purple and then we're going to be going in with the darkest shade just to blend it out. But like I said, you guys, I feel like this gives you a very smooth and clean canvas when you cut your crease like this. It's just my favorite way to do it. 
anyways let me not get carried away you guys once i'm done blending out this dark shade at the edge as you guys can see the look is coming together we're gonna be going in with a setting spray i'm using this one by Too Faced and i grabbed some of this purple shade and we're spraying it so we can get the best out of this shimmery shade i always love to spray my shimmery shades you guys because it gives it like this extra boost and it just looks so much brighter and like more shimmery it's so hard to explain but if you try it i guarantee you the shimmery shade is gonna be there all day it'll last you all day anyways and now i'm going in with another q-tip and some makeup remover liquid and i'm just gonna be cleaning out that corner if you guys need guidance for this use a um your waterline as a guide or some tape if you guys can't do that and now i'm going in with my liquid eyeliner from italia deluxe and i'm just gonna be applying this this is just the perfect eyeliner you guys it is the most matte eyeliner i have ever used and i'm just gonna be applying this onto my eye really quick oh i just i love this eyeliner you guys i have been using this for years and it is my favorite now that this eye look is complete i'm gonna finish the rest off camera and here we have the results i wanted to be a little extra so i added some rhinestones but i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know down below if you guys watch this video all the way through comment the word purple so i know that you're a real one and you're not cheating and you're actually watching this <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video remember to subscribe like this video follow me on instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys in the next video bye